Hello, this is Noreen from Joya Cards and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and welcome to my YouTube channel. Yay! For more on my Stampin' Up! card videos, click that subscribe button and the little bell and you'll be notified when my videos release. So today's video is Stylish Sketches and this is part of Celebration, which is July 1st to August 2022. So this is one of the free items in here and we're going to uh, go ahead and make one of these cards but I want to show you the second one I made here. So the first one I'm going to show you is the fox. So this card is actually really simple. It's what they called a sketch card. So you're just building layers and in the description of my video there'll be all the um, dimensions of how to make the sketch card. But I do want to show you how to stamp out the little fox. So I went ahead and I used Memento. Now I did like stamp all these images out first just to see how they stamped. And they do really well so I have no, um, no issues with that. Then I also used Memento and then I used Early Espresso. I kind of played around with his feet because foxes have dark feet. They have black feet and tails or tip of the tails. So I kind of went with this one even though these are good as well. These are the only difference between the two is the Early Espresso and I used different um, of the flesh browns on his feet and I just went ahead and went with this one. So let's go ahead and stamp him out and just put them on the card here. Now the paper that I used for this is shaded spruce. So it's got a shaded spruce uh, base. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. Then I did basic black, sh um, shaded spruce again, basic black. And then this paper here, this is part of the new mini catalog and this is called Rustic Harvest which is really great against this color in the fox. Then I went ahead and cut some uh, rectangle stitch frames in black and white. And then I used the um, black dot embellishments. And then on the inside, something very simple. But we've got our fox all stamped out here. And the first thing I'm gonna use is my light Cajun craze. So you'll need the light and the dark Cajun craze and then the light black. So I'm gonna start with the light Cajun craze and I'm not going to color in the bottom part of his face or his chest here and not the feet and the tip of the tail. So I'm going to take the painted end here of the blending pen and just go across his nose here and leave that space around his face and his chest. And I'm going to leave his feet and I'm just going to put down a light layer of the Cajun Craze through his belly and then part of his tail. Okay and then I'm going to go in with the dark Cajun Craze and I'm just going to do all the places where you see the memento marked in his fur. All those places and around his haunch here and up and around his back a little bit on his tail and just get all those little details in. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with a light Cajun craze again and then blend them out. I don't, I, I think these are more layering pens than like um, blending pens in my opinion. And just give them a nice little layer. Okay, and then I'm going to go in with the light basic black and I'm going to do the tail and his feet and just and I didn't go, go in with the dark one. In fact I almost didn't go with this because I thought it was too dark but and it is a little dark but that's okay. I'm gonna do his feet here. I think it just looks better with the um, basic black paper that we're using. 
than when I used the light browns. And then, you know, I decided to go ahead to do more of his paws or his legs here. I'm going to give those a little once over. And then blend between the black and the Cajun craze. So that's how I colored the fox. And like I said, in the description of my video are the measurements for the card and all the supplies. Everything that I use in my video, including my glass plate here, I'm an Amazon affiliate, so you can click on any of my links and they're totally safe. And um, so that's how we do that card. Now let's do the ducks. So if you guys need a mini catalog or a celebration catalog, go ahead and email me. My email's in the description of the video and I can get you out some catalogs because the this is a celebration. And then I'm also using some other things from uh, the catalog. But anyway, here the the next card are, is a duck. So I've got a, a shaded spruce five and a half by four and a quarter. I went ahead and just put together the inside. And what we've got is that uh, rustic harvest paper again. And all the dimensions are in the, the description of the video. So you don't have to sit there and frantically write it down. So we've got that rustic harvest. And then we're using the di layering diorama. And this is the second and third largest dye in shaded spruce and basic white and then for the front of the card we're going to use some basic black and this is cut four and an eighth by five and three eighths so it's just that eighth of an inch shy of the card and put that there in the middle and then we're going to use that rustic harvest again and this is four by five and a quarter and then I also cut up in the layering diorama, the largest in shaded spruce and the second largest in basic white. And now let's do the coloring. All right, so if you were really looking, um, you'll notice I changed this card just a little bit. And excuse me, I, I had to put my Invisalign back in my mouth. I just got, it's like braces, but anyway, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna slur a little bit. I sound terrible. Um, anyway. So this one I edged with the black and this one I didn't. I took this one five and a half by four and a quarter, but I thought it looked a little dull. So I decided to go ahead and layer that up. So there is a slight difference between the two. So the next thing we're gonna do is get out our Stamparatus because there's a couple of things that I did here that you're probably, if you make a lot of cards going, how did she do that? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the ducks. So I'm gonna um, put on my Stamparatus here, my duckies. So here is the duck stamp here. Now I opened up my Stamparatus. I put my box underneath so it had some, something to lay against. And then we're gonna put the duck stamp rather high up on the white because what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a reflection too. So I've got it here and close it up. Now, this part is really important. We don't want the feet. So I'm gonna take my memento, and actually with this particular stamp, you can kind of see where the feet end. So it's not too hard to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp far down, and then I'm gonna take my stamp and write in the black. Actually, we can go ahead and do that first. And then I'm gonna take my Stampin' Right in black and just fill in the bottom because I think it does look different when you use your Stampin' blend, or Stampin' Right and when you use a Stampin' Pad. Stampin' Pads, pads are much better, but um, you don't wanna to get too close to the feet. That's why I stopped there. So that will be that part. Now we're going to make a mask. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp out the ducky again. And I'm gonna use some scratch paper here, just regular paper. Don't use your Stampin' Up! paper. The paper is too thick to do a mask and you'll leave a halo. So get some regular crummy copy paper and then go ahead and cut out the birds without the feet, of course, and make a mask. Now we're gonna make that reflection and there's a sneaky little trick. You go ahead and put your stamp on a block and get out your silicone craft sheet 
and a piece of scratch paper. And we're gonna take the duck and we're going to ink the ducks there. And then I want you to stamp off once and then stamp on your craft sheet like toward the top. Okay, give it a good press. And then I want you to take your piece here, put this upside down. So it's upside down, so they're they're gonna be looking the opposite. And you can kind of see through the craft sheet. I gotta stick my head in the camera, sorry. Let me get it in there. And you can, the closer you get to that paper, the, clo the more you can see the stamp. So I've got it on there and I'm going to push down on it. And then we lift it up and there you go. See these things, I don't know how anybody can live without a silicone craft sheet. So that's how we do that. And we're going to take our piece of scratch paper and then I'm going to grab Waterfall Canyon. And this is how I made the water. I was looking through my stamps and they got rid of the lighthouse stamp set. So it's like, what am I gonna use? So I'm gonna use the bottom part of the waterfall from Waterfall Canyon. And I've got it on a block here. And I'm gonna take a post-it note and I'm gonna cover this. Okay, just like that. And while we've got that out, let's grab that silicone craft sheet again. And we are going to take the mass that we made earlier. So I've already used this, that's why they, they're all uh, a different color. So turn over your mask. We're gonna get the Tombow that's in the teal or the green cartridge here. And this tape is great for masking. And go ahead and put some masking over our piece and we're gonna cover those top ducks here. Take that and like that. Okay, and then I'm going to grab some balmy blue and I, I love these little stampin' spots. These are great for the Stamparatus. They're also great for doing something like this because what I'm gonna do is just ink on top of this part of the stamp. Then I'm going to take the mask off and then I'm going to stamp it on our piece. And then once I stamp it, I'm gonna stamp off on the side because we do want different textures of that water. So I'm gonna cover this up again. I'm going to stamp it out. And I'm gonna put this, make sure you take off your post-it note in between. I'm gonna take this and put it up here. That's why we've got that scratch paper underneath. And then as a stamp off, I'll put it like here. Okay, and keep doing it until you fill your whole piece. And I would put the darkest part, like your first stamp off here, over the, over the duck's uh, reflection. And then a stamp off to the side like that. And just keep going. So I'm gonna uh, fill in the rest and I'll be right back. So after I filled it all in, you know, it might look a little messy, but that's okay because we're going to go ahead and blend some ink over it. So I'm gonna grab my balmy blue, I'm gonna tap it off, and I'm gonna circle in. And I do apologize so much for my lisp from my Invisalign. I figured at 56 years old, the few teeth that I've got kind of crooked, I was gonna go ahead and fix, and boy, it's, uh, it's interesting. <laughs> So um, anyway, but I have to have them in like 22 hours out of 24 hours. So that's why I have to wear them now. Um, next, I'm gonna put in Pool Party and I'm gonna go ahead and mix these colors because they're so close anyway. But I do like mixing my colors and put a little Pool Party in there. And then I'm gonna switch and I'm gonna put a little Tahitian Tide, believe it or not, and kind of brighten it up a little bit and get those, uh, do around those ducks really well. Okay. And there we go. Before I do the big reveal with taking off the mask, um, I went ahead and made a tag. The tag is from Potted Succulents. I used this one here. 
and my greetings like the other card is from go to greetings i've been using this to death you will too i'm sure so, and i made the tag and i went ahead and did memento instead of the shaded spruce so you can do either way but let me do the reveal here dun 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 dun, dun, dun. and look at that woohoo all righty now we need to do some coloring so we're going to start with light and dark shaded spruce and I'm going to do the male duck's head here. So just right down to that white in his collar. Fill that in with the light first. And then I'm going to go in with the dark and only do the dark on the bottom and maybe around the head a little bit and leave around the eye light. So it's got that nice dark green. And then I'm going to take Cajun craze in let's try the light first always try light first I can't remember which one I did so I'm gonna take the light here and I'm just gonna do his chest you know use the painted end yeah I'm gonna go in with that dark if in doubt start with the light first it'll always be better if you do that now i'm going to go in with the dark because i do like the darker color and I'm not going to worry about shading or anything like that on this okay and then i'm going to take our dark and light crumb cake or actually just the dark and i'm going to do his body here his tail feathers and if you missed a little bit uh if you get a little halo from your mask you can fill it in with your your color here because it's such a eclectic little drawing here that there is no like harsh line so you can easily cover that up now i'm going to take some dark soft suede and i'm going to fill in a little bit and just take it and do some filler and use the other side And I'm gonna take the light. No, nope, I'll take the yeah, the light one as well. And just give him some more color there. So that's the boy. Now let's go ahead and do his lady friend here. And I'm gonna take the dark crumb cake and I'm gonna do her. And a little halo on her so I'm gonna just go out a little bit now I'm gonna go in with some dark soft suede do some here let's go ahead and grab my bronze and give her a little outline there we go okay let's do some more here okay so there's my lady now we have to do is fill in the beak and i am using light pumpkin pie i'll fill in the beaks and there's my duckies now we have is the fun part so i'm gonna go ahead and snail her this up on the card here and snail this on the card here and put it in the middle and in between i went ahead and put um some dimensionals on here if you noticed i put it on my silicone craft sheet why because it won't stick uh and then put these on like that and that's the card don't forget i give away the demo card if you're a first time subscriber just put in the comments that you want to win a demo card and you got to put your email address so i can talk to you and get your address and mail it out but and if you need a mini catalog or celebration because this is from celebration uh email me and i'll get one out too but that'll do it for me thanks bye